Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me as we cook in my kitchen tonight. And thank you to Black Woman for having me. I am really excited to get cooking with you all. As she mentioned, we'll be making Gouda burgers with chipotle aioli and topped with some crispy onion ring. So let's get started. Um, if you happen to um, see the recipe and know the ingredients that we were gonna use tonight, you know that we're gonna use, again, onion rings, right? Or we're gonna make onion rings, so we're gonna need onions for that. We're using yellow onions. And if you're cooking along with me, or when you do it later, you'll want to, from the beginning, take your onions and put them into a bowl and pour buttermilk over them just so they are covered with the buttermilk. You're not necessarily pouring any particular measurement, but you just wanna make sure that your onion rings are covered. Um, and you know, before we go any further, I'm wondering how are you guys doing tonight? Um, I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm excited that we get to cook again together. If you join me for my last live, we made strawberry shortcakes with homemade biscuits and that was a lot of fun. And I hope that we have just as much fun or even more tonight. Okay, so as I was saying, onions, we use yellow onions. I'm gonna show you just how big you're gonna want those onions to be. So I cut it about this, this um, thick, all right? So obviously once you cut it that thick, you take it apart and that's, so it's not very big, just a, a few centimeters. Um, you don't want them too thick, you don't want them too thin, but you know what? I take that back. If you like really thick, crispy onion rings, then you make your onion rings um, really thick. If you like it thinner, make it thinner. But when it's too thin, they tend to break apart once you bread them, and then it'll make it more difficult to um, fry. But, you know, however you like it, try it out. That's the beauty of cooking. You get to try things, make mistakes, and create new recipes, right? All right, so we have our onion rings. Next, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn on the stove for the burgers. Um, I'm using a cast iron skillet, but you can use a regular you know, skillet, regular frying pan, um, whatever you have. It's not like it's some specific crazy gadget that you need to do this. And now let me show you. I already started our burger, um, our burgers. I seasoned them in advance for you guys. So just to give you a little detail on what's in it, we have half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Say that four times let me know how that works out and one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and then i also chopped up one stick of scallion into the mixture um, and the the burgers make uh or i should say the ground meat makes three burgers so um this is a pound and you see they're they're pretty thick um intentionally because once you put it on the stove they do begin to shrink a little and you want a nice big juicy burger you don't want a little skinny mini right you want it nice and juicy and big and i used 80 percent um lean meat and 20 percent fat because you want that 20 percent fat that's how you get your moisture so you have a juicy burger so you know you don't want it to have just like 10 percent or anything like that Go for the fat sometimes you need a little fat all right so now i'm gonna just put on my gloves here and i'm going to make the patty so you could just see how thick to get it all right like i said i already did two in advance right i mean it's pretty simple you put everything in one bowl mix it on up to make sure that everything is coated evenly and from there you're gonna want to just get to shaping all right so this is a pretty nice size burger right okay so now we are going to put our burgers on the stove um, you don't well let me get these gloves off first you do not want to really put a bunch of oil into your uh, skillet, frying pan, because these already are naturally, you know, they have a lot of oil in them um, from the fat. So you're just gonna put it right in there. Let's get over to the stove. And we're gonna take our patty. I'm gonna just do two for tonight. And I'm making a medium well. If you like them 
a little more cooked, you're going to want to add a couple minutes to it. But if you like it um, a little more rare, you can lessen the amount of cook time. But for this, on one side, I'm going to put the timer on. It's going to be three minutes. So while that's cooking, we're going to get to the next step. And that's going to be the onion rings. We're going to flour, put the flour mixture together. All right. So I already um, put this together just to save us on some time. I use half a cup of flour, an eighth of cayenne, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and an eighth teaspoon. I've mentioned this before um, in, in my last live, so hopefully it doesn't you know, make anybody feel too crazy. But a lot of times, whether it's teaspoon or a measuring cup, it doesn't always come with an eighth. So you'll take a quarter teaspoon and half it. You're just going to fill it up halfway and that'll give you an eighth, right? So an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt. And you're just going to, you know, put that all together and mix it up again so it's evenly distributed in your flour. All right? Okay. So we have another couple minutes. And let me just, um, again, mention, um, I'm, my name of my company is Brown Sugar and Spice Co. Um, again, Felicia from Black Woman was kind enough to ask me to do a cooking class tonight. And I was so excited about that because I love the work that Black Woman's doing and what they stand for and giving um, Black women, women of color, um, another platform because you know what, we, we need room at that table, right? So um, my company again, Brown Sugar and Spice Co. And I'm a caterer from you know, larger events to you know, smaller weddings, or you have a birthday, dinner, um, anniversary. And I also do some in-home dining where I give you a personalized experience in your home, bringing that five-star restaurant experience right to your door. And um, you have a server, you have uh, wine, if you want wine, you have three courses, appetizers, main course, and dessert. Right, so you so a beautiful evening for you and that special someone or maybe a small group that you want to celebrate with. And I basically bring that five star restaurant experience right to your door. And my website is brown sugar and spice code.com, so you can check it out, learn more about and just you know the soft services that I offer if you're interested. All right, all right, so let's see here. We're almost done on this side, we got about five more seconds, so let's get back over to the stove. All right, and now we're gonna turn over our burger. And this time we're gonna leave it on about five minutes. All right, and now I'm gonna put my Gouda cheese on top, all right? I've already sliced it up for you here, as you can see. You put as much cheese, obviously, as you want. If you are a big cheese lover, you're going to want to go hard for it. And you can, you know, with Gouda, there are many different options. There's smoked Gouda. There's this one in particular is Dutch Gouda. Um, some people like that smoked flavor on their burger, so you can definitely use that if you would like. But I just went with Dutch Gouda. I think one more slice of cheese will do it right, right? All right, so now I'm gonna put the timer on. We're gonna leave this for about five minutes, five to six minutes, okay? Let me just rinse off my hands real quick with the burger. All right. Okay, so now that we're waiting for the um, burgers to cook, we are gonna flour our onion rings. I'm just gonna raise the temp on the oil, um, you're gonna be using canola oil for your onion rings. Now you can use vegetable oil as well, but um, my preference would be canola oil for this particular recipe, all right? Now, while everything is cooking, get your oil going so that it can get nice and warm. You want hot oil. When you're frying anything, you wanna make sure your oil is nice and hot so that you get the right crisp. That, that plays a part in your, um, in your final product being crispy. One is having you know the right amount of mi flour mixture, the right batter on whatever it is that you're frying, and then it's making sure that you have a nice hot, um, nice hot oil on your stove. So those two things will have a really nice crispy outcome. Okay, so 
let me get it here all right now we have like i said we have our onion rings right and they've been sitting in the buttermilk Again, you'll want to do that from the beginning just so that it has time to really sit in there and seep into your onions. All right. And I'm not going to put them on just just yet just because since we're not frying them immediately, you don't want them to start to get soggy. So we'll have our flour mixture. Um, I'm going to go over what the ingredients are in your flour mixture. You'll use half a cup of flour and then an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So it's not a lot that you have to put in there, but it gives it such a nice flavor. You have a slight kick with that cayenne pepper. Makes it really, really yummy, guys. Let me wipe off my hands. Okay, so now, so now we're going to just check on our burgers. See, I wanna just get your eyes over here. See how they're looking, see the cheese is melting. That's why as soon as you put it, on the stove, you wanna make sure that you put your cheese on it because it melts as it's going along. If you wait till the last minute, you're gonna have some cheese that's just not melted in. One of the best parts of a burger with cheese is having that nice melted cheese on top, right? So make sure you put it on right away, all right? Okay, so while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna to wait to flour the onion rings we are going to get our chipotle aioli together, all right? And honestly, chipotle aioli is kind of like just a fancy way of saying mayo with some, some stuff in it. <laughs> um, what we have here, let me get it all out for you. Okay, so what we have here is a third cup of mayo and you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and a half teaspoon of chipotle pepper, ground pepper. Um, if you don't have access to maybe a chipotle ground pepper, you can also, a lot of times you can find this in the supermarket, the um, chipotle peppers that are in a can, sometimes they're like in the adobo sauce. You can just use the juice from that if you maybe can't get access to the ground chipotle pepper. And you add as much or as little as you want, all depending on how spicy you want it. Remember, this is all about the way you like to eat, so you know, be mindful of that. All right, so I've already put all of the seasonings in to a little plate, so I'm gonna add it to the mayo. Um, also, a sprinkle of cumin, and then a squeeze of lime. Let's see. Just trying to see these comments here. Uh, just give me one second guys. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get to these comments and my phone is giving me a little issue Okay, great What kind of oil? Oil. Yes, I did mention you need canola oil But if you only have vegetable oil, you can use that as well But um, I prefer canola oil for the onion rings. All right Oh, uh, somebody wrote, I can't cook in my nice clothes because I get stuff everywhere. Girl, did you see me last time? I had flour all over my clothes. It's only because I'm not, you know, getting too crazy with the flour today. I felt, you know, like being a little, a little more comfortable with not putting on an apron because I did consider wearing an apron today. But, you know, I decided to, to let my look go together with my little hat that I decided to wear today. And yes, I decided to wear a hat in the house and that's all right because... If d nice could do it while he DJs, I could wear it while I cook, right? <laughs> All right, so, oh, let me get a plate to put them on. All right, I think we are ready. Take them off. Yeah, they look really good. All right. I think I'm gonna leave it another like 10 seconds. I'm gonna just check for any more comments. All right. All right, I'm gonna take them off the fire now. Now guys, when you finish making red meat, you wanna give it some time. You don't wanna just cut right into it, eat it. You wanna take, put it to the side. I'm gonna turn on my toaster oven because we got those um, buns that we also wanna get nice and toasted, that brioche bun. 
Um, you want to make sure that whenever you make any type of red meat, you give it some time to rest. So while it's resting, I'm going to go over here and finish up the sides of the chipotle aioli and get those onion rings together. All right. So um, as I was saying, for the chipotle aioli, what goes in there is a third cup of tomato, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of ground chipotle pepper, a sprinkle of cumin powder, and then a squeeze of lime. So I've got everything in there except for the lime. So let's squeeze that in there, huh? Just a little squeeze. Let the spirit move you on how, how big of a squeeze that is. All right, mix it on up. All right, if you can see, see it gives it that, it still, you know, has that mayo color, but then you see those specks of brown and red. See, that also makes it a little more fancy looking at regular mayo, right? All right, so we'll leave that to the side. We'll add that to the bun when it's time. Now we are going to flour our onion rings. All right, they've been staying here for a little while, so they should be nice and ready. Again, you're gonna to wanna to use yellow onions for that. All right, I'm just gonna put a few in at a time and then cover it with the flour. It really takes two, not even a full three minutes to fry these because they're, they're thin, they're just onions, right? So it doesn't take very long, or slices of onions, so it doesn't take very long at all. I'm gonna put a few in. I'm gonna switch, give me one second. All right, this has been on for a little while, so it should be nice and hot for us to use. And I kept it covered because that allows it to warm up even quicker, okay? Oh, and if you're not sure if your oil is warm enough or hot enough, I should say, you could do a little trick. You take a little bit of the flour mixture, throw it into your oil, and if you hear it like make a little sizzle, you know that it's ready. It's sizzling. Let me check one more time. Make sure it's sizzling enough for us. I don't know if you could hear it, but it just, just said, shh, so it's ready, all right? Look over here. All right. So I'm gonna just put the onion rings in. You could have used a little more time. Like it, it says shh, but it, it kind of lied to me because, okay, now it's coming together. But it probably could have used like another minute. So I'm gonna just do that one. So I think it's always good to do a test, right? You take one, try it out, see how it comes out, and then you add more from there because once you do it wrong and you use all of them, there's nothing you could do about that. But if you test one out and then see if it works or it doesn't work, you know how to adjust from there, right? All right. So I'm gonna just grab a paper towel so that we can put our onion ring on there when it's done. All right, so it's just cooking. Um, at this point, we're pretty much set. We did our chipotle aioli. We're making our onion ring. So once that's done, then we'll be able to put our burger together, all right? Let's see, it's toasting, getting brown, almost there. So let me take it out of the toaster oven, give me one moment. All right. Let's look at our onion ring. Let's see, needs a little more time. So yeah, it wasn't fully ready. So, you know what, it happens. You, again, that's why you do a test one, right? Okay. And now, let's see, our bun, look at that. Nice and toasted. Do you see that nice golden color on top? I love when I see a burger just with, like that light toast. I don't like it too, too dark, too light. That's just perfect for me. So, well really for Ed, because I'm not eating it, Ed is. <laughs> but yeah. this, is, this is the way I like it. All right, guys, this one is almost ready. And hopefully from there, we'll be able to move quicker with the next bout, round of onion rings, all right? But our burger, oh, you want to take a look, right? Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna 
Keep them over here. All right. Onion rings starting to get brown. I don't know if you can see. Almost done. Normally, when the 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 fire is nice, um, has nicely heated up your oil, it really takes like two to three minutes. Taking a little longer today because it needed a little more time. But such is live um, streaming, right? <laughs> you don't have when when things don't go exactly as planned, it's out there, and that's all right. It happens. All right, so this is nice and brown. Forgot my cooling rack, but you can see I'm gonna um. I don't think you guys can see it from over there, so let me show you, all right, how the onion rings look. I have it on a paper towel, um, but that's how they look. All right, let me just lay it down here. That's how it's going to look. I'm going to make a few more, all right, so let's do that real quick. All right, let me get the batter. Okay. All right. Put a few more. We'll just leave that to the side. Take a few more onion rings out of the buttermilk. And again, it's only buttermilk. I didn't add any other seasonings or anything to it. Actually, when I made it for Ed, um, the first time I tried, tried this out, I just you know thought that these things would go nicely together tried it out and um, I asked him, you know, what do you think about if I put onion rings on it? And he was like, ah, I don't know, because he's not a big onion ring person. But then when he tasted it, he was like, yes, this is, this is right. <laughs> so delicious. he enjoyed it. All right. Onion rings are almost done. All right, now I'm gonna just check to see if there's any comments. Oh yes, that is correct, brioche buns. Um, that is That one's not homemade, but I do love a good brioche bun. I think it's so good on a nice juicy burger, right? Oh, yeah, okay, do I clean my skillet? Good question, I do clean my skillet, but right after I clean it, I oil it up again because um, sp specifically the cast iron skillet. Because if you know anything about cast iron skillets, just follow me over here as I go over to the stove. If you know anything about cast iron skillets, they um, get really, um, they start to turn color, they rust. So you need to keep them oiled up. It's really important to keep them oiled up. All right, I'm just gonna put a few more in. I think our burger should be just about ready for us. All right, see now the oil is nice and hot. Now they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. You hear that? Like it's not whispering anymore, it's singing to me loudly. Like, okay, if you're, so if you're from Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, Flatbush, Crown Heights, there's a place called uh, a, a strip. There's a long, this block, Notion Avenue, goes, goes for many, many miles. On Notion Avenue, the men speak very loudly to you when you don't want them to. That is what the oil is doing right now, speaking to me very loudly, but I wanted to. That's the difference this time. I don't mind, okay? So they'll be done in just a couple minutes because, again, it doesn't take long. Write my hand off here. Let me show you guys what this, these onion rings are looking like. All right? This is what they're looking like. I'm going to just take a look, see if I have any comments, questions. Right? Exactly. The golden on the bread. I'm telling you that that's, I don't know, something about it just makes me feel good. It makes me want to sing a little bit. All right. See, onion rings are now going so quickly now that the oil is nice and hot. What did that take? Not even a minute? All right. All right. I think we are good on the onion rings. I mean, we don't need too many on, I'm just doing one burger, putting one burger together. All right, so here are the onion rings. All right, I'm gonna put those over to the side. I'm gonna get my burger. Oh, I'll get my bun, brioche bun, right? And it's the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna take the burger. All right, I'm just gonna grab it with my hand. See all that oil and fat and grease and whatnot? 
All right. Okay. Oh, let me turn this off, that noise. All right. And then I'm going to add, oh, this should have been here. That's the bottom. Then I'm going to add my chipotle aioli. All right. You put as much or as little as you like. And then I'm going to grab my, my lettuce for my little spring mix. Got some spinach and, and greens, all of that. All right. All right. All right, now we're going to cover it on up. And we've got our taste tester, Ed, coming over. Let Ooh. us know how it is. Ooh, I've been waiting for this all night. Let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try. This is good. I, I had it before. Mm. I'm taking this with me over there. <laughs> you don't want to let them see how it looks? It's delicious. Um, did you get your medium well? So this is, this is, oh, let me show you this way. This is how it looks medium well. Just a little pink, right? Not too much. The After uh, medium well comes well. So if you wanted it a little more brown, probably just like a minute and you would have had that. He's, he's giving me the, give it to me. <laughs> All right. So that's everything, right? Um, we made our burgers, made our chipotle aioli, we made our onion rings. I think that's a pretty quick meal. Um, it probably would have taken you maybe another 10 minutes because you would have seasoned the meat, um, you know, in real time. But that's a pretty quick meal. All right, I'm going <laughs> to, yes. And he, he's probably, every time I do this, will be the taste tester because uh, he, I, have to, I have to pay him, you know, for, for doing video and, and producing, right? So, so that's, that's his payment, his meal. I think that's pretty fair, no? Sure is. All right. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> Any questions about anything that I went over? Um, I'll just run down a couple of things again, uh, quick tips, quick points. With your ground meat, you definitely, again, want 80% um, lean, 20% fat, because that fat is how you get a juicy burger. Otherwise, you are very likely to have a dry burger. You do not want a dry burger. No one wants a dry burger, so please don't do that, okay? Um, onion rings, really quick to make. You just wanna make sure your oil is hot enough. As you can see, when I first started, the oil wasn't hot enough, so it took longer to cook, and sometimes that actually can lead to, oh, I didn't put the onion rings on. Oh my goodness. We are gonna take it back? <laughs> you guys didn't remind me. All right, let's act like he never ate any of it, right? We're gonna put the onion rings on. Bam. Ah. <laughs> and now he's gonna take another bite with the onion rings. Let us know how you feel. I'm not a big onion ring guy, but honestly, these are delicious. Mmm. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. He even ate them by itself. Like that's how much he liked them. He ate it even without the burger. Um, because I had some extra and I was gonna throw them away, and he was he handed up. I'm saying, all right, let me just get one bite. And then he ate all of them. So clearly, they taste pretty good. That, um, that flour mixture, that batter, it really, really adds to the taste of your onion rings, all right? And remember, crispy onion rings. We want them to have a nice, like, uh, listen, can you hear this? Can y'all hear that? Can you hear me? Crispy, all right? <laughs> Let's see, any questions? Let me look. He worked hard for that burger. Yes, he did work hard for that burger. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, let me think of any other tips that I wanted to give. Oh, also, when you're making um, burgers or even doing something with the ground, especially burgers like ground, with, you know, ground meat, you want to leave your meat out a little bit before you get ready to start cooking because um, when it's really, really cold, one, uh, you ever notice you're like making some type of meat and your hands just get like freezing because you're you know, you're putting your hands in there and really getting um, that seasoning um, distributed into your meat. One, so leave it out just for a bit so it can get a little more closer to room temperature. Also, it actually helps when it comes to um, your, your seasoning. Um, when you have it room temperature, it, it helps the seasoning to just come through um, um, better once you start cooking. So, you know, that's also a little helpful tip. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted you to know. Um, 
aioli. Oh, um, if you like, again, if you like to have spicy foods, you can add a little more aioli to it. You see, we didn't use ketchup because this burger doesn't even need ketchup. So, and that's, that's for real, because Ed usually puts ketchup on his burgers, all right? Let's see, any more questions? No one has any questions. So, I just, again, want to um, pass it off to, um, once again, thank you, Felicia from Black Woman, for having me. I'm Tisha of Brown Sugar and Spice Co. You can check out my Instagram, Brown Sugar and Spice Co. You can check out my website, brownsugarandspiceco.com, or my YouTube page, again, Brown Sugar and Spice Co. Um, I'm going to, you know, put those little plugs in there. So you can subscribe, like, there's a few videos on there, recipe videos that you can check out. All right, everyone have a good night. Continue to eat, laugh, and love. Felicia, back to you. I feel like I didn't do good. No, you did good. You did really good. Okay. I wasn't sure if the bunny, the the burgers were fully cooked. I was scared. I thought it was gonna like oh, come out. So juicy. It was really good. Good. I mean, honestly, you could have made a horrible thing. I would have said. It. Well, no, I would hope you would no. front for me, but I wanted to be good. Really good. Okay, good. <sighs> I'm gonna call Felicia. Oh no. Tell her the echo sound wasn't on my hand. Wasn't there now. They were looking too much at that one. I know. I, 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 but since I wasn't even using it, I just, because it's in my face, I'm thinking it's like where I need to be. Mm -hmm. Hey, girl. I just wanted to check in with you, see how you felt about how everything went. And go ahead. Yeah. She I mentioned it. He said it in the beginning, it wasn't on. He said it wasn't on this end. So she she does she's like maybe a stream yard, like I don't know. No, what ask her if she had YouTube open. Oh, did life. you have YouTube open while you were doing it? Because there's a delay that was YouTube. Because there was a delay on it. Oh, she said it's because you had YouTube open I also. Think she did, but that's what it meant. No, she said she did have it open. That's what it was. He said, Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Don't worry, it's happened to me before. Yeah, he said, don't worry, it's happened to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it took a little second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.